Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another choose only one video, but actually I'm going to ask you to choose your top three. This one's a little different, I'll explain in a bit. The last choose only one video, we featured budget handguns, and there was a crowded field, but by and large, Taurus and Canik led the way. All the others got their fair share, but Taurus and Canik were highly voted by the viewers of this channel and it was a lot of fun but today we're featuring firearm manufacturers i put a ton of work into this i showcase 12 of the best in the world handgun in particular manufacturers so let's check it out and rank your top three let's start with sig sour and we'll begin right here with the p226 earned a fine reputation a lot of people love the sig p226 this is a Taylor exclusive it's an ASC alloy stainless elite with a great single action trigger right around four pounds with a short reset SRT trigger and the p226 is a phenomenal handgun but over here we've got the P320X Compact, this was once the hottest gun. It's got the X-Ray 3 night sights in there, 15 round mags, the X trigger that breaks so smooth. And I, I think the P320 series was enhanced with that handgun. But over here we've got the P365, a lot of people love this. They carry it with confidence. They say SIG started this subcompact double stack mag revolution. A lot of other manufacturers Followed suit, but the P365 still getting it done. Here we have Beretta. And we'll start with the 92X Performance. Excellent full-size all-steel frame handgun that is so nice. It's called the Performance because it is a performer. Full-size, heavy handgun, 9mm built for competition. Here we have a PX4 Storm. This is a Type D which is a double action only. It has a rotating barrel. A lot of people find that advantageous, but it does have a double action, uh, very heavy trigger pull, no doubt about that. But it's a shooter as well. A lot of people love the PX4 series. And over here, we've got an APX Centurion. This is a nice handgun as well. And when I featured this, a lot of people said, I love the Centurion. I picked it up and now I know why. It's a smooth shooter. It's an accurate shooter for a mid-sized double stack 9mm handgun. The Car Firearms Group, and today we're focusing on car and Magnum Research. I love this PM9. Very small and lightweight, six and seven round mags. It comes with three inch barrel, night sights, a double action trigger that is so smooth. This has been very reliable. Great pocket carry gun. Excellent for the summer months. Over here we've got a Baby Desert Eagle 3. This one's in 45, all steel frame. It has a teardrop slide mounted. Decocker thumb safety renders the trigger unavailable for the moment while that's decocked, but a very nice single action trigger pull. And if you love big bore handguns, here we have the Desert Eagle. This has a integrated muzzle brake and 50 Action Express with the six inch barrel. Extremely accurate, extremely fun, and extremely powerful. And if that's your thing, you would love this handgun. Now we have Springfield Armory, and let's start with the XDM Elite 4.5 with a 4.5 inch barrel, 20 round magazines, all ambidextrous, flat trigger, wider serrations, U-dot sights, it's got nice grip safety, excellent ergos, shoots like a dream. Love this full-size handgun. I think it's amazing, and it's been great for me since I first picked it up. Over here, we've got a 1911 Operator, 45 ACP, 8-round mags. It looks beautiful. It has a Cerakote slide, G10 grips, ambidextrous thumb safety, and a tritium front dot. Very nice 1911. Love shooting that and over here we've got the hellcat osp and flat dark earth optical sight pistol it also has a flat trigger this has a 13 round mag forward serrations tritium front dot u rear red dot ready excellent shooting handgun a lot of people carry this with confidence i think Springfield knocked it out of the park with the Hellcat. Walther makes some great handguns. When they came out with the PDP, Performance Duty Pistol, shooters' heads were turning. They made the grip more aggressive, 
Still a great ergonomic feel. 15 round mags in, in this particular handgun. Super slide serrations is what they call it. They made it optic ready and a lighter trigger. Performance duty trigger. What a nice job Walther did with that handgun. Here we have a CCP. This is a bit different. Single stack, eight round mag. They made the slide weight, the spring weight really light. The trigger rather light and the shooting impressions light. It has a delayed blowback gas system. There is a piston in there and they claim that that, that gun will suit shooters with all separate type of hand strengths and over here we have a ppq subcompact 10 round mag minix to ppq just shorter but it shoots just as well as the walther ppq we have come to know and love cc handguns are very popular on this channel I think a lot of people love the CZ Shadow 2 full-size all-steel frame handgun that is amazing. Has a single action trigger pull right around three and a quarter pounds and the double action is pretty phenomenal as well. Beautiful looking and shooting handgun. A lot of people love it. They say that's one of CZ's very best. I also brought out the Phantom 75 Phantom. I love this gun. They discontinued it. It's got a polymer frame very similar to the SP-01 with 18 round mags, but I shoot it so well, and I'm happy to have it since they discontinued it, but it, it certainly is an accurate shooter. And over here we have the P10S. The P10 series really expanded. They did a great job with the P10S, and I love this trigger. Check that out with a very short reset. CZ's been getting it done, and they will continue with their high quality firearms. There are many people out there that say, hey, look, all those are fine. Just give me a Glock. I just want a Glock and I have three to feature here. Here's the Glock 19 Gen 4. This one has night sights, 15 round mags. Of course, it has the higher capacity mags, but the Glock 19 has been getting it done for years. There are five generations now and I wouldn't be surprised if there is a sixth generation Glock 43X. 10 round mags, shield arms makes 15 round mags, forward serrations, they now make this with a blackened slide as well, your choice, this is really the baby Glock, but they did a nice job with it, they call it a single stack, but it's actually a little bit of a staggered stack, and over here we've got the original baby Glock, the 26, this is my favorite Glock, I love this thing, 10 round mags, I love shooting this Glock 26, this is my favorite Glock, I think I already mentioned that, but all these quality 9mm Glocks. Taurus is certainly getting it done these days. They have a great reputation for budget handguns that work really well. And this is the most popular, the Taurus G3C. This is still flying off the shelves to this day. 12 round mags and a single action firearm, 3.2 inch barrel with restrike capability. A lot of people carry this, they love it, they say I love the G3C, every time I mention another gun, they say, you know what, I'm fine. I've got the G3C. But now we have the G3X. Same upper assembly, 3.2 inch barrel, but they widened the grip, extended the mag, and now have 15 rounds in the G3X. And I think this is pretty awesome as well. But the one that excited me more than anything is the G3 Tactical. Check that out. 4.5 inch barrel. Patriot Brown Cerakote, 17 round mags, optic ready, tall rear sights, tall front sight, same trigger that we have come to know with restrike capability. Taurus is getting it done. The re reputation has been rebuilt. It's been that way for a while and people love them. Ruger certainly has been getting it done. And let's start right here with the American Compact 45. This is Cerakoted Gray from the factory. Beautiful 45. ACP handgun. Love it. Shoots like a dream. Love the American series. I think they did a great job with grip modules, that Novak style sights, excellent trigger. I, I love the American series and Ruger has expanded on it and has made it an amazing handgun series. Here we have the Max 9. Love this too. They all come optic ready. I've got a Sightmark mini shot on there. All come with a fiber optic tritium front dot serrated black rear sights love the max 9 i've been doing a lot of comparisons with it it's been a lot of fun for me 12 round magazine by the way and here we have the lcp max 
Thir or 12 plus 1, 13 round capacity, 380 ACP, LCP, kicked it up a notch with a double stack mag, and it really lit the gun world on fire. The craftsmanship with HK handguns are amazing, and I have two to show here. This is an HK 45, full size with a 4.5 inch barrel, 10 round magazines, ambidextrous controls with a trigger guard, magazine release, and ambi slide stop. It is double action, single action, about a four and a half pound single action trigger pull, it's considered a variant one, also has a thumb safety decocker, Push, pulling down will decock it, raising it will lock up the trigger, but a great handgun. I, I love it. In 45 ACP, it doesn't feel like much recoil at all. And here's the VP9. Nothing can be said about the VP9 that hasn't already been said, but I will say, I'm, I'm a happy owner of it. <laughs> I, I've resisted for years, primarily because of the cost. I finally broke down and bought one, and I've been very pleased ever since. HK, get it done. I had a P30. I let it go. I regret it. But I've got these two, and I certainly enjoy them. Many shooters appreciate Bursa for quality handguns without breaking the bank. And this is a TPR9. Incredible full-size handgun. 17 round mags, four and a quarter inch barrel. Has a thumb safety decocker. You push up on that lever right there. But the trigger is amazing. But even so, even more so, is that reset. Have you seen anything a, as short as that? What a great shooting handgun. Love the TPR. Nine, I think that's an incredible gun. One sold for about $400. Here we have a BP9CC single stack, eight round mag, 3.2 inch barrel handgun, 3.3 correction, and a very lightweight trigger, right? Around four pounds. That sells this pistol. Bursa of handguns, a lot for the money. The popularity of Canon handguns has risen so much in the past seven or eight years, it really is amazing. This is Canik's smallest pistol, TP9 Elite Subcompact, 12 round mags, tungsten gray, Cerakote finish, and an excellent trigger. People love the Canik triggers, and they, they are great. They really are. Here's a full-size TP9 SFX. Yeah, they have the Rival now and the Matei, but I have the original SFX, and it has 20 round mags it's a competition gun both these are optic ready this one here is a tp9 sf elite it's not optic ready but it's a great handgun and it has that same canic trigger that so many shooters rave about smith and wesson has been expanding their mmp line for years this is a mmp9 compact 2.0 heavy grip texturing you grip that really hard, it just digs into your hand. 15 round mags, 4 inch barrel, 3 dot sights, pick rail right there. A lot of people love it. You know, law enforcement has moved over to the MP line from what I've seen, especially locally. Many have done that. And then we have the original shield. Now, this is about 11 years old, but it still works great today. You know, they expanded with the shield plus, has a hinged trigger, so does that. MMP9 compact has a hinged trigger, but people people love the MMP line. They keep expanding and shooters keep buying them. Well, those were some of the best. I hope you ranked your top three in that, and I'll report what happened with the next Choose Only One video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.